All right, Shalom. <clears throat> shalom. Giving our praises, our glory, and honors unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and bless to the hopeful elect. This is Brother Tazar, from GMS Atlanta. <clears throat> Back with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And I um, just want to start here with some scriptures and then read uh, some articles here. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9. I'm starting at verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things which from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we are in the time of understanding very well that the Heavenly Father, the Most High, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His Son, who is ignorantly called Jesus Christ, we are in the time where we should very well understand that the prophecies that are written in the Holy Scriptures, in the Bible, uh, they foretell of the time when the Lord was going to visit the earth, which he made, okay? And there are events happening around the world in current news today that should really start to wake people up. And ultimately, it should wake up the Israelites scattered around the world, which are descended from the so-called Black Spans and Native Americans that were taken into captivity uh, in the Western Hemisphere. Um, it's coming to a point to where you really can't deny the Hebrew Israelite movement, you can't deny that we have the truth. You cannot deny that the prophecies spoken about in the Bible are happening and are true. It's really just coming to a point of whether or not you are chosen to be saved and delivered from all the evil that is to come in the earth. So what I have now is some articles here. And I did a video on this, but I want to start with the uh, major earthquake that happened. This is from CBS News, and it says that the Nepal earthquake kills at least 157 and buries families in rubble of collapsed homes. So we just had a major earthquake in Nepal uh, Friday and Saturday this weekend, and hundreds of people have died and been injured, okay? That's on top of uh, uh, the other major earthquake that has happened in Afghanistan where thousands died, among others. These earthquakes are becoming a lot more frequent and they're becoming a lot more deadly. We cannot take this lightly, okay? Um, I'll just read this here. It says, survivors of a strong earthquake that shook Nepal's northwest in the middle of the night described sudden shaking, followed by houses collapsing and burying entire families as the death toll rose to 157 on Saturday. Most of those killed were crushed by debris when their houses, usually made by stacking rocks and logs, crumbled under the force of the trembler mandate, uh, under the, of the force, excuse me, crumbled under the force of the trembler midnight Friday. Local media reported. And then from the video they're showing here, now you're seeing the uproars of the people. These are the protests that are happening around the world in different countries. You know, you see they're um, going back and forth, attacking each other. Attacking the law enforcement. While well, these earthquakes are happening. So you tell me if a Bible, if a book, scriptures, things written thousands of years ago 
are not inspired by the true Holy Spirit or the Most High, Supreme of the Universe Himself. You tell me that these things are not true and are not happening. Your pastor can't explain it. Your your deacon can't explain it. Your mother of the church can't explain it. A lot of Hebrew Israelites can't explain it. They don't go deep into the understanding of the Bible prophecies. The Lord has rested his spirit upon the apostles, the elders, the men, the bishops, teachers, leaders of great millstone, Hebrew Israelites. These things are happening and we have to understand what the Lord is doing in the earth. All right. It says we're supposed to measure the time diligently, meaning constantly, consistently, and see these as signs. Okay? Now, let's go into some articles dealing with some protests that have been happening, uproars that have been happening in the earth. This is from foreignpolicy.com. It says how a copper mine prompted mass protest in Panama. Okay. November 3rd, 2023. The highlights this week. Panamanians take to the streets in unusual mass protests. Brazilian authorities sue a bank for slavery reparations and Bolivia cuts ties with Israel. Why are these things happening? Because the Heavenly Father, the Most High, is putting a spirit on the people in the earth to rise up and protest for the oppression uh, uh, the exploitation, the robbery that is going on by these major governments on top of a uh, uh, racial religious tension. These are the things that the Bible has talked about. Okay. A copper uprising. Um, let's see. It says, last week, Panama hosted a United Nations climate event for Latin American and Caribbean countries. It was meant to be a regional prep of sorts ahead of the global UN climate conference in Dubai that begins later this month. But environmental issues were also in the spotlight outside of formal meeting rooms as visitors encountered a country consumed by mass protests. Since August, and more intensely over the past two weeks, Panamanians have been demonstrating against their government's decision to grant a new 20-year license to Canadian uh, to Canadian firm First Quantum Minerals. Now, the Panamanians are Israelites from the tribe of Zebulon. And they're protesting the government. These, these uh, uh, companies, such as the Canadian government, which are run by Edomites, the enemy, Esau, the wicked, the devil... So you have another case of mass protests happening all over the world. It says the government secured an increase in its royalties from First Quantum's copper mine in Panama, which accounts for some 1.5% of global copper output. Copper is a key component in electric car batteries, and global demand for the mineral is expected to increase as the energy transition accelerates and because of the wars. The war of Armageddon is, go is going to take place. <coughs> All right. And it's starting up now. World War Three is starting up now. <coughs> OK, let's go to the next article. From 6abc.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Protesters arrested at Philadelphia's 30th Street station while demanding a Gaza, ce uh, Gaza ceasefire. OK, this is in Philadelphia. Philadelphia's 30th Street station was brought to a standstill for hours Thursday as a massive demonstration took over the transportation terminal by activists opposed to the fighting between Israel and Hamas. <coughs> About 300 faith leaders and protesters with, with the J Voice for Peace, the Philly Palestine Coalition, and if not now, rallied inside the station demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. We are part of a growing powerful movement of Jays of Americans 
of Israelis calling for a ceasefire. We are demanding that the U.S. government, President Biden, and the Congress use its power and its privilege and its money to insist that Israel has a ceasefire with Gaza and save the innocent civilian lives, said Rabbi Ari Lev Fornari uh, with Ko uh, Zedek Synagogue. And according to uh, recent news by uh, Netanyahu, there will be no ceasefire. So you're protesting for nothing. They're protesting for nothing. There is a Bible prophecy that says that the people will protest what is going on in the earth, but there must be wars in the earth. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men. Sedition is an uprising against uh, a people, people against the government. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. These are prophecies that are happening right now. That are happening before they happen. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So that is what we're seeing. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Cities locked down, streets locked down, curfews in certain countries and certain places. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Pride against the, the Most High, the Heavenly Father. That's why these things are happening. Because the Lord wants these things to take place. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. It's going to get to a point where these wars, these calamities, these things that are happening to earth, these evil things are going to lead to, as it says here, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So trouble and famine is coming in the earth. Verse 20. Behold, saith the Most High, God, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me which are from the rising of the sun, which is the east, from the south, from the east, and Lebanus, to turn themselves one against another. That's why we have these wars. The Lord wants these kings, these, these, these nations, these governments, these militaries to turn against each other. It says, and repay the things that they have done to them. The Lord said he is paying back all the evil done to his chosen people, the so-called blacks in America, so-called Native Americans, those of Central and South America, those of the uh, 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 um, descended from the Israelites scattered around the world. The Lord is paying back all these heathen nations for what they've done by bringing their governments into war with each other to implode and destroy each other. Like as they do yet this day until my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. My right hand shall not spare the sinners. So you're going to have those that are wicked, that continue to sin amongst our people, that don't wake up. You don't listen to the prophets. You don't listen to James. You don't listen to the Israelites. You're not going to be spared either. And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. <clears throat> That's why all these things are happening. Let's go to the next article. Uh, from Associated Press. Protest marches from U.S. to Berlin call for immediate halt to Israeli bombing of Gaza. So these people are in an uproar. And this is just the latest protest in the, in the earth, in the world. There's others and there will be more. From Washington to Milan to Perry. Tens of thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched Saturday calling for a halt to Israel's bombardment of Gaza. <clears throat> the marches reflected growing disquiet about the mounting civilian casualty toll and suffering from the Israel-Hamas war. Protesters, particularly in countries with large Muslim populations, <clears throat> including the U.S., U.K., and France, Express disillusionment with their governments. Second Ezra 15 is what I just read. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, their governments, 
express the the uh, disillusionment with their government so for supporting Israel, while its bombardments of hospitals and residential areas in the Gaza Strip intensify. This Palestinian death toll in the Israel Hamas war. Notice they're saying Israel Hamas war, but the Palestinians are not all Hamas. Hamas is a group of people. But it's not a race of people. So why are they not fighting between that group? Because it's bigger than than what they're saying it is. It says it has reached 9,448, just damn near 10,000, according to the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza. In Israel, more than 1,400 people have been killed. Most of them in the October 7th Hamas attack that started the war. So Hamas started the war, but you're killing the people that have nothing to do with it? So now you got over 10,000 deaths in that region because of what? You can't find a group of people? But that is what is, you know, sparking things up in the earth now. You know? I think I had one more here. Tens of thousands gathered for pro-Palestinian march in D.C. to demand Gaza ceasefire. At least tens of thousands of people gathered in the nation's capital here in the U.S. on Saturday for one of the biggest pro-Palestinian protests in the U.S. since the Israeli bombardment of Gaza began in response to the attack by Hamas militants last month. So why are they not being attacked? Can you not identify them? Where are they? Who are they? Protesters are pushing for a ceasefire in Gaza, where health officials say thousands of Palestinians have been killed in Israeli uh, airstrikes. The event, organized by several pro-Palestinian groups, began with an afternoon rally at Freedom Plaza before crowds began a march in a loop past the White House a few blocks away. So these are the things that are happening in the earth, man. I just read the scriptures, Bible prophecy. Okay, I'm in off of one more. And since I'm in this particular Bible on this website, I'll get it. One of my favorite scriptures, uh, the words of Yahweh Shai, our Savior Himself, Luke twenty one and twenty five. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And I always mention about the eclipses that have happened just in the past of October alone. And upon the earth, distress of nations. You can't tell me the earth is not having a distress of nations. You can't tell me these nations are not in distress with perplexity. You can't tell me they're not perplexed. All of these marches and these protests. However, they're organized and funded by whoever it doesn't take away the fact that the words of Yahweh Shai has been spoken and manifested. The sea and the waves roaring, got the different earthquakes. Okay. Men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. And people are scared. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud, a so-called UFO. So you can understand. That's why that's big all in the news in America. Because they know and understand that they are angels coming to destroy this place. But they want to use their propaganda to make them look like enemies of the earth. When the real enemies of the earth are the people in power. The Edomites. Pursuant to uh, Psalm, the 83rd chapter. And then shall they see the Son of Man, Yahawashai, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, now we're seeing these things begin to come to pass. Who is who is Yahawashai talking to? Who's the Savior? Who's the Lord talking to? The Israelites and the Israelites only of the elect. Not everybody else and not all races. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. You Israelites look up. And lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh, and the redemption of the Hebrew Israelites is near. Okay? The earthquakes, the uproars of the people, these are all signs that Yahweh Shai is getting back 
is coming back to save his people. As it says in Matthew, the first chapter, he will save his people. All, all, all people are not his people from their sins and be delivered from the trouble to come. So with that.